remember this house, we've been in it before, but now there's a significant change. Uh, this is the house where Paul the builder upstairs was putting different walls in to divide the bedrooms up and so on. And the kitchen downstairs was taken out so that we could start afresh. Well, this is the kitchen. So let's have a look around. This kitchen, with all these units, the cooker was already in place, but we've put all these units in here. We've got a dishwasher in because this is going to be a six bedroom property and you need to provide two areas where they can wash up. And rather than making it look a little bit strange with having two sink units, we've got a dishwasher in instead. Sometimes we use Slimline. This is actually just a standard size dishwasher. So all of these units are provided from B&Q. We normally put in the dark surfaces. That allows for all sorts of uh, eventualities. Now, this whole kitchen process the units involved here, we've got them from B&Q. Now, I'll give them a bit of a plug. The cost, I'm sure you want to know, is just £850. Okay, £850. So that's a whole kitchen in a whole U shape. Over here, you can see that we've got a standard set of chairs with table. We get this from Argos. They're not very expensive, but it looks really quite fashionable. And the other thing that I'm going to feature here in this kitchen is the fact that we've got two full upright fridge freezers. The reason for this is that when I've got six people in one of the properties, I want to be able to ride a shelf for each of them because they each have their own food and that just makes it easy for them. We also need to be able to make sure that we've got enough cupboard space for six people when we're designing the kitchen in the first place because that's quite important. It's the space that you're allowing the people to have. Now, on this occasion, we don't have a lounge in this property, and so what we might be able to do is to put a large screen TV on the wall over here. It hasn't got one at the moment, but that's something that you could add if you wanted to, which makes this a nice living space. The other thing that we've done in here is to put an extra bathroom, or rather a shower room in, downstairs. So let's go and have a look at how lovely that looks. You can see as we come through the hall that there is actually a space under the stairs. So if we wanted washer dryer or something else to go in there, we could put that under the stairs, but it's a very useful storage area. The standardised carpets throughout, you'll see in all of the properties we use, we don't have to make our decisions more than once. One style of carpet, one colour, and this is very standard throughout all the properties that we do. So if you come into the bathroom, you will see that we've fitted a shower and the shower cubic is actually a lovely sweeping corner unit, which makes the room look lovely. There's plenty of space in here, and it makes a lovely shower area. And if you just come into the room and have a look around here, what we've done is we've put the washer dryer, or the dryer, I uh, can't actually open that one, um, there we go, into this room, because then any moisture or anything else needs to go out to the outside can be pumped straight out through the walls. So that's really useful because the area under the stairs in this property actually goes into next door, which wouldn't be very useful, would it? So we've turned this room into a little bit of a drying room as well. Fantastic shower area. And that's just the downstairs floor. Upstairs are the bedrooms. I'll show you those next time when they've been set. But there is one bedroom down on this floor. So come and have a look at how that standard bedroom is set up too. The fire doors are on all three stores, stories because on a three floor property you need to have these fire door closers. Yeah, they look a bit uh, commercial but actually you don't notice them when you're coming into the room but the opening and closing of the door is quite heavy. So this room, let's turn the light on, um, has a bed. This is a double size bed, a king size, no, sorry that's not a king size, it's a double bed Okay, it's not for double occupancy, but we always, as standard, fit double beds in. And then it's got a side dresser with some drawers, all in pine, a wardrobe. And we've also got a set of drawers as well for them to use. So this is really nice looking furniture with a very nice laminated floor, which makes a very good bedroom for somebody. And that's just standard fitting throughout all our properties. The wardrobes, drawers, etc. are not as expensive as they look, which is always an advantage, and it gives them a really nice clean living area. When I was in, uh, showing people into the property, I would very probably set this room so that you've got nice duvet cushions and so on, so that it makes it look like a real nice living space. 
So that's the downstairs of this property. We'll be showing you more when the other bedrooms are set and it does go up onto three floors. There's a lovely bathroom at the, up on the top floor as well. So there's quite a lot has been going on in this property and it's now getting rented out. There's already two people booked to be in here next week. So if you want to see further um, videos, then go on to the YouTube channel, Yvonne Emery Coaching. You'll see lots of other renovation projects there and it'd be great to see you and to see your comments because lots of you are commenting and I'm really grateful for your comments. So tell me what you think. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.